Hi. Um, I recently filmed a video showing my aunt how I quilt a quilt uh, throw size or larger on my home machine without using any special equipment. And I got a request from Frank to show how I thread the machine and wind the bobbin, which is different on every machine. Um, but I'm going to show you, I have a Singer Modern Quilter, and I'm going to show you how I thread my machine. Um, now, if you use a regular bobbin, it goes over, or a regular spool of thread, sorry, um, it goes over here. There's a, a thing to put it on. Um, however, I don't usually use a small thing like that. I use a one of these, a cone, has a lot more thread on it, so I don't have to change it as much. Um, and it doesn't fit on that thing. It just spins around. So what I do is I have a mason jar. Put it in there like so, and put it back behind my, sh my machine, and I just set it there. So take the thread, and I know it's hard to see. My um, I'm filming on my iPad, and it's very precariously being held up on a regular tripod so I can't really move it around um, but if you can see I have a hook goes around the hook and back through here and it just comes straight down now the most important thing on any machine to keep your tension right is you have to make sure the needle is all the way up in the up position and make sure that your foot is up when the foot's down and the needles down everything inside there kind of contracts to hold the thread that's how, how it uh, adjust the tension so that all needs to be up and out of the way when you're threading your machine now I come under here there's a little squirrely thing like a corkscrew the thread goes around that and then I have an automatic threader ah, and it's not working you can just if you don't have an automatic threader this is just where you're gonna thread the needle so to wind a bobbin, my machine has a bobbin winder. If yours doesn't, you can buy, um, I think, a Joanne's little bobbin winders. So I gotta take the thread back out. Cut it off a little bit. And it just kind of has a little guide back here that shows how the thread goes part way through the slit in the machine and then it comes around this little hook and then around this button and that just holds the thread tight enough. Now I'm going to put, this is a, a Singer Universal Bobbin. I'm going to start the thread through this little hole in the top so I can get it through. very good light right now I don't have the curtains open I'm gonna take it okay so then the bobbin goes on this little doohickey flip that and it's gonna wind automatically I'm gonna stop it and cut this thread off here and ideally the machine should wrap the bobbin at the perfect tension so that you don't have any tension problems down the road takes about mm, 30 seconds maybe okay now we're going to have to rethread the machine Everything's in the up position. Okay, and then the bobbin, mine just drops in from the top. And my 
thread has to come around a little hook and back here. Now it should be ready to go. Okay, and I grabbed uh, just a small piece of scrap fabric. I'm just going to test it out to make sure. My machine has a setting to keep the needle down so that every time I stop, the needle stays down so I can turn when I'm quilting. And everything's fine. Here's a little closer up. My thread's back there. It comes around through this hook back here and then straight down. When it winds on the bobbin, there's a little diagram here that shows how to put it on around this little thing and onto there. And then down here is another little diagram that shows how to put the bobbin in.